So here we are in the rigging lab. We've, we've been in the classroom looking at uh, some mathematics on, and formulas for various uh, critical angles specific to high line construction. Right now, our high line, um, our test high line right here, is just horizontal. This is going to be uh, reconfigured to various degrees of sloping high lines, and then we'll get a, a comparison on what the weight of the load is going to be based on the slope of the high line. We're particularly interested in a formula that we got from the logging industry for cable yarding, uh, which states we can take the distance across, in other words, this gap, which we know is 37 feet in this test, and we're going to multiply that times the load. Our load is 210 pounds. We get that figure, and then we're going to divide it by four times the needed deflection. Well, when we figure those numbers out, they come out to about 550 pounds. We're at like 534 right now. So um, in my mind, I, I'm thinking we're pretty close on analyzing and observing this angle. And this is enough for us to move forward and see what kind of comparisons we make on the slope. Continuing on with the high line talk, we went from a horizontal high line with roughly, roughly a, a hundred and fifty degree angle in the middle um, to one that's moved into a forty five degree slope. And we maintain using our, we have an in house uh, digital protractor that we uh, match the same angle to. So, so now we can see that we went from what was a horizontal system of 530 pounds to roughly uh, 200 pounds. We've gone anywhere from um, 280 pounds. As we lift the load up higher, you're going to have a lessening of the bottom anchor and an increase of the top anchor. So right now we're reading about 202 pounds. So if I look at this um, this hit down here, that's roughly uh, about 54% of our original horizontal system that we had. We've moved our uh, sloping high line even further in. So right now we have it at a 30 degree slope. And um, as would be expected, the load is uh, quite a bit less. What we're keeping consistent between uh, the horizontal, 180 degrees across, the 45 degree slope and the 30 slope is we're keeping this angle of deflection here the same, which has been um, 150, or I'm sorry, um, 158, just shy of 160 degrees. And again, when we look at, at the configuration of this rigging, and all we're lifting is these sandbags so you don't see a belay line or anything like that, but the orange rope is. Uh, in essence, the main line that's doing the hauling on this test load right here. So it's, uh, it's taken roughly half the load at this, at this point in time. So, you know, that's a good, uh, you know, informal conclusion that when we're within that 20 to 30 degree slope from, uh, from our original edge with the sloping high line, we're going to roughly split the difference on the load between the main line and the track line itself.